SHW pre-show. SHW, this is our wrestling. Whoa, I forgot to turn on the light, guys. Oh, no! <laughs> but we are live. It's Watch so your eyes. Dark. There we go. Hey. Heads up. All right, squeeze it in. Diana, to your left. Let me. There we go. Get in again. <laughs> We're live, folks. We'll do it live. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> but, we are uh, feeling good. It's SHW 65. This we is your Facebook that. Live pre show. I'm B Double Brandon Benefield, alongside, as always, the great GB Gerard Bonner and the beautiful Diana Michelle. She's all here. You She's guys. She's all here. We are on the road, our final stop mm -hmm. to SHW Still Here 6, one month away, but first, SHW 65, mm -hmm. and we have a big, crazy night ahead of us. Are you guys ready? Look, we have a huge announcement. Gary posted earlier that he has a huge announcement. Who knows mm. what that's going to be because Gary's yeah. going to Gary, right? He is. What? But he yeah. said it's going to be a big thing. <laughs> it's going to be a big thing. Life yeah. changing, he said. Wow. Carly wow. Bravo is going to let us know which Southern Honor title he is going to go for as still here. Mm -hmm. So I'm crazy excited. I have a favor. I, I, I have a prediction. I want him to go for this particular title. Uh huh. But we will see. Okay. All right. We will. It's going to be an amazing night, of course. Again, we are just moments away from yes. the final stop. And you know, whenever you're on that final stop, there's always a, an unusual twist or yeah, turn absolutely. that will happen. And uh, I'm intrigued to see how Still Here 6 takes shape tonight. Yeah, it's going to be insane. I know we have six matches uh, that were announced at least. Yes. But it's SHW. You never know what might happen here tonight. We also saw some uh, some posters for like four different segments that might happen where there's going to be some in-ring uh, discussions taking place. We know mm -hmm. Gary Lamb is going to confront uh, exotic youth, specifically Zach Mosley, those no good when low down. When is this ever going to end? I thought you know, it was going to be over. I think it's the war that never ends. Jeez. It just goes on and uh, on, my no. friend. Apparently. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> and here's the thing. They always cry conspiracy. They were upset about yeah. uh, me uh, entering the Rumble Jack and, Honestly, and getting a piece. Honestly, how is but that a conspiracy? You I'm are like, not a trained wrestler, even though you put the beat down on both of you them. You did. You did. I'm so just saying. how are you going to cry conspiracy? I'm calling. They you better hit train me harder. with a car they a whole a car. car that's the least i could have done Absolutely. last month but anyways, and you did a great job you, by oh, the way oh, if you, you guys did. did not see the rumble go jack back. and the official debut of brandon benefield you have got to go back and watch it after the show tonight yeah. you can check it out on iwtv <laughs> now, it's pretty he amazing he did say it was going to be official, his retirement official as debut well. and official retirement <laughs> all in one night it well, was a special night for but me but you know pro wrestling you never <laughs> Anything retire can happen rick That's flair right. i'll I mean, never retire never yeah mm -hmm. Anyways, <laughs> so what will Gary Lamb have to say to Exotic Youth tonight? I know Pepper Bottom will be here as well. Mm -hmm. As far as we know, I know uh, Bryce Cannon's been out injured for several months. He has and, been. Uh, but those guys are weasels, so there's no telling. He could be hiding out in the corner somewhere and might pounce at any moment. Yeah. But uh, we do know that two-thirds of Exotic Youth will be here tonight uh, getting in the ring with Gary Lamb and uh, having some sort of discussion. We don't know what that will be, but And I'm we'll curious, is that actually safe for Gary Lamb? The last few times they've yeah. been in a ring with Gary Lamb, it's not ended well for Gary. So, well, I mean, Gary could just point over here and Brandon could jump in there. And well, this is true. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> but it's not a match. It's a fight. It's not a match. You'll it's do a, a fight. fight. Here's right. the thing, though. If you'll I'm recall. I'm not dressed for the occasion, but I would love to jump in. <laughs> just you, saying. You already don't have sleeves on your outfit. <laughs> That's all you got to have right it's there. guns. <laughs> She's got guns, folks. Pew, pew. We, we got to take us to the gun show. Uh, pea shooters. That's what I got. That's little exactly pea what I've got. I'm, I'm developing into <laughs> pistols, okay? Oh, my goodness. Anyways, anyways, if you do recall, at the Rumble Jack, it's a match where anything goes. There's no yeah, disqualification. Right. Zach Mosley attempting to use a chair at one point during the match. Mm -hmm. Gary runs out and grabs a chair, not allowing him to use it. Uh, both members of Exotic Youth end up getting eliminated. Yeah. So, again, they're crying conspiracy. Mm -hmm. uh, Southern Honor is out to get them. The front office, whether it's the roster, whether it's us, whoever you. it is. Um, so we'll see what happens here tonight. But 
Let's get to a couple of these matches, all right? We've yeah, got yeah, to it. Murder One versus Xander Seabolt. Now, these two guys, uh, one representing the hierarchy, yes. one representing the grapplers. Right. Yes. Two factions that have been going uh, butting heads, if you will, for yeah. the last several months, ever since the grapplers gained those tag team titles. Mm -hmm. Look. Look, GB. Look. Yeah. Look. Uh -oh. Uh -huh. The grapplers, I mean, I... I hate to say this. Oh my God, I forgot they were the tag team titles. Oh wow! Champions. Wow! I have just forgotten. I mean, it's like it's I'm Di not, Diana I don't Michelle. Uh, it's Diana Michelle saying this. That is. I don't want to say it's just been like an irrelevant ring, but I mean, Ooh. again, Diana Michelle's the it's one saying It's the guns. This. All I'm these sorry. shots are being fired. Jeez, I mean, folks. bring it on. I'm whatever. Ooh. I mean, I know Gary wow. was a grappler. He helped them win the <laughs> titles. He pinned. <laughs> them the exotic youth for the titles mm. who were also grapplers at one point who were Correct. also grapplers at one point but Very i crazy. just feel like you know it's been a couple of months have we had a tag team title defense well have we there have been i don't two remember tag team title defenses that's uh, my problem with, with these champions and they've been champions for over 100 like days more like 160 or days like that, or something right? like that yeah i don't know but i'm just saying xander Whatever role he's playing in the, in the grapplers, mm -hmm. murder from the dark streak, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know what road you want to walk down, but it's not the dark streak. Yeah, in the dark it's city, dark, the dark city, city yeah. dark street. That part. Yeah, none I'm of it. I'm just saying. I mean, I haven't seen murder wrestle a wrestling match in a while. She's mm -hmm. been a bunch of brutality. Yeah, but this one is gonna be like I think it's just gonna like say what's gonna happen with the titles. Well, and I'll say this to that point. Murder One uh, is one who never met a grudge he wouldn't let go of, right? right? Like he's That's holding good. on to it. That's and good. I completely understand why. Think about it. This is a tag team that never got pinned for the tag team championships, right. never got a rematch for the tag team championships. And then the tag titles, to your point, have not been defended very regularly by these grapplers. So this is something that I know that is weighing heavily on him weighing heavily on all things hierarchy. So tonight could be a step, perhaps in the direction of maybe getting the hierarchy uh, into the tag team title picture, something that they should have never left out of. So we'll find right. out tonight. I've got to think that Murder One has a bullseye Ooh. ready for Xander Siebel. Oh, yeah. We've got to make a statement. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be a good one. And again, I don't know what order these matches are taking place in. We're just kind of going through the, the matches that we saw that were announced on social media over the last couple of weeks. But uh, speaking of the hierarchy, another member, the Kenway, mm -hmm. in singles action tonight, facing somebody making his singles debut. Yes. We saw Jackson Drake make his SHW debut in the Rumble Jack last month. Well, now he's in singles action. Now, this is one that I found out backstage. Joe Black is very interested in seeing because he's kind of been a bit of a mentor, not yeah. only to the Kenway, which we already knew, yeah. but apparently also to Jackson Drake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like I saw a picture with Jackson wearing the beat. Wow. Am I right? Wow. Did you guys see that? I haven't. I haven't. Mm -hmm. Doesn't I mean it's right. not out there. I'm not I don't saying know you made it maybe up. Maybe when I was close, I don't know. But I feel <laughs> like I saw a picture with Jackson wearing some beads and Joe saying he was like, you know, a mentor there. So what's going on? Are we adding potentials to the hierarchy? I mean, is that a possibility? Oh, I, don't if know. This, I mean, if he wins, if he. If he makes a good showing, I don't know. But I'm interested because he was a firecracker in the Rumble Jack. Yeah, Jackson Drake is a pretty special talent. Yeah. And um, for him to be here is something significant. I'm just going to throw a name out there, and some of you are going to understand the significance of it. The name is Javon Evans. Okay. okay? Currently an NXT superstar, longtime tag team partner of Jackson Drake. All right. That okay. should tell you a lot okay. when that it comes to I didn't know. exactly. So Jackson Drake being in this match, I see exactly why Joe Black is paying attention to him. That North Carolina uh, connection, which yeah. Joe Black is very connected to. So it's going to be really interesting. And if this is indeed a scouting moment, think about what it would mean for the Kenway to lose this match. And then on top of it, I think if Jackson Drake makes a great showing, I think we could be looking at the potential of an addition to the hierarchy. They are very exclusive, but given the wars that they have been having with the end game, again, another war that doesn't seem to end, they need as much reinforcement as they possibly could get. Could Jackson Drake be a potential prospect for the, the hierarchy? We'll find out tonight.
And uh, let's talk about another person making his singles debut. He debuted in the Rumble Jack. I'm talking about Big Trouble, Big Ben oh, yes. Bishop. Yes. He makes his singles match debut here tonight against the Ugly Duckling, mm. Rob Killjoy. And these guys have been going back and forth on social media all over the last couple it's of weeks. Hilarious. And uh, it's actually been kind of entertaining to watch. <laughs> but talk about two different styles. I mean, here's Ben Bishop, somebody that... We've heard about before we ever saw him, right? Yes. And yes. if you haven't heard about him on the indie scene, then I don't know where, if you're not paying attention or what, but yeah. uh, he's making a big impact everywhere he goes. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen him on AEW. Yeah. Uh, and I'm telling you, I mean, singles he, action here in SHW, but he's got his hands full with yeah. the Ugly Duckling here tonight. Yeah. He's literally head and shoulders above the crowd. He's literally. Six foot 12. Literally. So literally. 6'12", 15% mm -hmm. of a metric ton wow. weighing in. You hear what I'm saying? Yes. Dude's a beast. He's pretty big. He is. <laughs> I feel my country coming on. He is, y'all. Left it. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Look, Big <laughs> Ben. Big Bishop, Big Ben Bishop, mm -hmm. he's big trouble yep. for anybody that steps in the ring with this guy. He's huge. But then you got the million mallard man. Is that what it is? The Did you call him that before? I thought I called him. If not, man. I'm going to call him that night because I'm making that up. Sure. The million mallard man. He's a lot of ducks. Maybe I did call him that. Maybe or maybe I heard you say it and then I said it. I don't know, but he's going to be that tonight. So or maybe he said him, it and we said it. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> that's what it's going to be. He he's called it the rumble quack. Everything is rumble, like something to do with quack. the duck. Everything's yeah. a duck. <laughs> Representing the ugly ducklings, he is going to come in here flying, he's doing his thing, doing all the duckly, duckly things. And I would like to see how Ben's going to keep up with him. Yeah, I mean, like you said, two different styles. It's two different styles, and styles indeed make fights. And I think what's going to be interesting about tonight is you've got two very interesting forces. Of course, Big Ben, Big Trouble, he is all of those things. Six foot 12. Uh, you might argue six foot 13, depending upon who you ask. Ooh. And uh, he has created some real problems for a lot of people. Think about the Rumble Jack. Oh, he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the wall, toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy named Logan Creed, He's who we haven't on. seen around here in a long, long time. Unreal. Very few people have been able to do that. So and eliminated him. And eliminated him. Yeah. So he is an anomaly in and of himself. But then you look at somebody like Rob Killjoy. Rob Killjoy, I have an interesting stat for you guys. Ready for this? Yep. Rob Killjoy is undefeated in singles action in 2024 here at Southern Honor. How about that? I'm all for it. So now we're talking about a streak here. Could he go undefeated all year? He's been the gatekeeper for almost anybody new coming through the company, and that's kind of happened all this year. And him being fairly new himself, so he's kind of like being, like you said, the gatekeeper. So it's going to be something very interesting to see what Ben Bishop is able to do tonight against the veteran. What ways, what wiles, what strategies will the veteran Rob Kiljoy have to pull out tonight? We'll have to see here tonight at the Action Building. That's right. That's right. Come join us at the Action Building here in Canton, Georgia, 261 Marietta Road. Uh, tickets available at the door. Kids 10 and under, as always, are free. You're not going to want to miss it. If you're sitting at home on a Friday night and you're wondering what to do tonight, Look, if you're anywhere nearby, come join us. Come on out. Football is football. I know what's going on tonight, but bring your happy behind down to the Action Building tonight <laughs> I guarantee this you, show. This will be way more exciting. I'm telling Guaranteed. you. Way more unforgettable. And, uh, and way more we're predictable. Here, number one. I mean, look. Hello. D3 in the house. Need so. we say more? <laughs> bring it. So we just talked about two guys that are making their singles debuts here tonight. Now, both of them actually debuted last month at the Rumble Jack. Here's a man that has not debuted at all in SHW, making his SHW and singles debut, that being Aaron Dallas wow. taking on longtime veteran and our pal Sal Renaro here tonight. Uh, now, Aaron Dallas, somebody that we know from a while back coming through the Nightmare Factory, yes. making a name for himself all throughout the Georgia indie scene mm -hmm. and uh, finally making his way here to SHW. But uh, just like I mentioned that uh, Ben Bishop will have his hands full with the Ugly Duckling, yeah. Aaron Dallas will have his hands full with Mr. Sal Renaro. Now, depending on the mindset that Sal comes to the show with. Which is always a scary place always. to even try Correct. to think about. It's very Correct. unpredictable. We don't know if he's yeah. going to roll in, if he's going to sit and clap his hands, or if he's going to be down to business. What I do know is Aaron Dallas is the blue-collar rocker. Yep. Yes, he is. He's got excitement in his bones. Uh -huh. He's going he's to come in and bring it. I mean, he's he, he posted to this week that 
it was his goal to wrestle at Southern Honor. He's not going to come in here and just flop, okay? Yeah, yeah. He's got a game plan. He knows who he's facing. He knows Sauer Naro is the man, regardless if he's mentally there or not. Mm -hmm. He's the man. He's been around forever. He knows what he's doing. He's a veteran. He's awesome. Mm -hmm. He's one of my favorites. But Aaron Dallas is going to come and bring it. I really do believe he is. And yes. it's going to be exciting. It's going to be entertaining. And Sal, God bless his soul. I hope he brings the right <laughs> frame of mind to do what he does. No, because when no he's telling. on, he's on. You know no what I'm saying? Yeah, but there's okay. no telling. Yeah, so. it, it, it's pretty amazing when you think about it. Aaron Dallas, you know, posting this idea that, hey, it's his goal to reach Southern Honor. And one of the things that I'm learning that this is that kind of a week for people who have goals, who have dreams, they can really live it out right. in a week like this, whether it's kids going back to school or really your opportunity to do whatever it is that you like and bet on you. That's what Aaron Dallas has worked three years to do to be here. You've got to believe that he is not going to waste this opportunity. And, you know, timing is everything right Aaron Dallas being here now going up against this version of Sal Renaro could actually work for Aaron Dallas because as we talked about a little bit earlier on one hand Rob Killjoy is undefeated Preach. this year meanwhile winless this year is Sal Renaro which is yeah. crazy when you think about that and this is September it is September do you remember well, I won't go there, Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> but what I will say is this. Tonight, the question is, will Aaron Dallas realize his dream? Yes. Or will Sal Renaro show us that he is indeed a psycho? That he is the master and the ruler of the world? Can he do that tonight? We'll find out right master here at SHW universe. 65. Right. So I have a couple more matches to get to, but before that, I just want to rip this Band-Aid off because it's one of those. This is almost up there with when I have to talk about Exotic Youth. Okay. I kind of get that nauseous feeling. Well, it was announced, so I will mention it. Matt Griffin, the CEO of Action Wrestling, will be addressing the fans here tonight. He'll be addressing Southern Honor. I don't know what he has to say, but he's. we saw him in the Rumble Jack. He made a surprise appearance. He got on the microphone of the Rumble Jack, mm -hmm. talked a lot of smack. Uh, about action wrestling being better than Southern Honor Wrestling. Yeah. And uh, it was announced he'll be uh, addressing the fans here tonight. So, Well, before I even address that, when you mentioned that you were about to n be nauseous and things like that, yeah, yeah, I almost feel like you have a Joe Hendry thing on you. Say his name and they'll appear. <laughs> you mentioned the names of Exotic Youth and they're he in did. the chat. Oh, what? They're in the chat oh, right oh, now. you got to be kidding me. No, I'm, they are watching right now, uh, and they have some choice words. I'm and sure so, they do. You go yeah, ahead. I'm going to read yeah, through they, this real quick. Yeah, they've got choice words. And so, yeah, so Exotic Youth is somewhere around. I don't know if they're in the building, or they're, but they're somewhere around. And with that, Matt Griffin, who is from Action, uh, who has been saying for almost a year now, has been threatening Southern Honor. He's been showing up here. Why? As we get ready to go into Still Here 6, I, I have no idea what he has in mind. But whenever Matt Griffin and a microphone show up, and he usually has a flask, it's never a good thing. So I don't know what we've got going on. I didn't mean to mess up your night, sir, but I I'm just I getting saw so them, angry. I saw them this. in the chat, and I'm just like, oh, wow. I'm so, trying to pay attention, but I'm getting so yeah, mad right it, now. It's that unpredictable here Ooh. on this live show. Ooh. You remember the angry. promo video that Zach and Bryce and Pep sent in like a year or so ago, and it was like they were from the daycare or something? You remember oh, that? I do. I try when, to forget most of the stuff they send in. I don't know. Well, remember. when Matt is on the, the mic, mm -hmm. It just sounds a lot like a baby who needs his diaper change. Wow. I mean, it's a lot of whining. And I'm wow. not going to change it. It's a lot of fussing. Oh, it's wow. a lot of complaining. It's a lot of nah, oh, nah, nah, whatever. Wow. He's picking a fight with Southern Honor in the backyard of Southern Honor, front yard of Southern Honor. Yeah. I want to know why. I want to know who gave him the, the mic to do so. And... Who's going to stop it? Who's, who's going to step up and shut this man up? Because, dang, he, he's bringing in an army. Yeah. But who's the army? House. I mean, he's who's got coming? the wall. He's, uh, if I ain't mistaken, he was he was naming Alex Kane. Well, I, I will say, I if mean, Alex Kane is coming, and, and we he, saw him in the Rumble Jack, and that's a problem. Yeah, he, a problem. He makes me nervous. The wall makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the thing. He brought in Jaden Newman. Now, Jaden Newman, though, started to right. seemingly side a little more coming to the GOAT, so I'm yeah. not really sure but where he, he stands. But is I don't he? know. Yeah. I, I mean, don't know. 
Did did Darian come with him on I, on Matt's side? No, 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 no. He was no. not with Darian, Ashton. Don't, don't I mean, throw, I would, don't throw I would Darian in that in that so, bunch. But Sorry I about that, Darian. He said his name, but you know, I'm just saying. I'm cla I'm calling. I'm claiming Darian for us. I mean, we need yeah. the diaper genie. Come on now. Wow. In effect, right here because wow. somebody needs their diaper change, and it's wow. pitiful. It's pitiful. Well, anyways, let's get back to a couple of these matches here because yeah. enough about Matt Griffin. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> How about this one? Kyle Matthews versus yes. Alexander Lev. Oh, this one it. should be awesome. However, don't forget Lev always has those faithful followers in his corner, the Warden and Grayson Pierce. So uh, Matthews, of course, have to keep his head on a swivel. And where's his head going to be after the uh, chaotic controversy that happened last month with the JTS Legacy title? So ill about that. I'm so mm. freaking ill about that. Look, we called it last month that mm -hmm. Kyle Matthews, or, uh, did I call it? I don't know if you no, guys No, I are, think I called it, We too, both called yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Kyle Matthews was going away <laughs> with the Jake Disney the Legacy title. And he did. And Mom he did. Momentarily. With, since when does Jake want to overturn a referee's decision and, and give it back to Hunter? I just want to know what Tristan Michaels did to be able to I get that change. And I don't even know if Tristan Michaels told us the truth. That's, right. that's what I'm saying because you didn't get no text from Jake. Sure didn't. That's true. All of the official stuff when Jake isn't here comes through a text to you. Exactly. That did not happen. So something's murky in the water. I think yeah. he's still the, the champion. I think he's still well, the champion. Well, Hunter, Hunter left with the belt. He did. And but, but also, do you we'll remember see. when Ashton and Zicky left with the tag team titles and they didn't beat That's true. technical excellence? Maybe we'll I get some clarification that. tonight. I don't know. We'll I find hope out. so. Yeah. I mean, it... it, it it, on in theory, should be a great match, but I'm feeling some kind of way about Kyle yes. Matthews. Like, Kyle Matthews should be the recognized Jake the Snake Legacy Champion. I don't know. Do we not call him champion? Do we call him the uncrowned champion? Is his belt missing? What's going on? Now, none of that fares well for Alexander Lev. No. I no. hope, and again, as impartial as I like to be, I hope Kyle Matthews is able to rebound and do what Kyle Matthews does. If he does, Alexander Lev is in trouble. The flip side is Kyle Matthews doesn't travel in packs, and he needs to in dealing with people like Lev because Lev always has his followers with him, and with those followers, Lev could be a real threat tonight in this contest. True. Yeah. Uh, another big matchup coming up later tonight. I talked about singles debuts after singles debuts. Well, we got another one. Somebody who also debuted in the Rumble Jack making a singles debut here tonight. That being Colby Carino taking mm -hmm. on the returning Zicky Dice. And we saw Zicky return at the Rumble Jack, but prior to that, we hadn't seen him in a while. Yeah. So he was at the Rumble Jack. He's here tonight. Singles action, Colby Carino. Colby Carino, a former uh, NWA World's Junior Heavyweight Champion, mm -hmm. the son of former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Steve Carino. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll tell you, this is, I'm, I'm so excited that he's here. In SHW here tonight. It's going to be amazing. He is the prince of old school, yep. shall we say. Colby Carino's got, he's got a lot of uh, accolades, can mm -hmm. we say that? And, but so does Zicky. Correct. Zicky came out of the Rumble Jack in a blaze of glory, like literally. It was outlandish. It was outlandish. It was. I'm excited about this because these are two NWA guys. Yeah. I love NWA. That is like what I was. I was groomed on as a small child groomed on. So NWA is always going to be special to me in my heart. But these two guys in here, I mean, it's, it's going to be fun. This yeah. is going to be fun, definitely. I'll just put it out there. This could steal the show tonight. Yeah. It really, really could because you have two guys who are well-traveled. As you mentioned, two guys, former champions in the NWA, two guys who have been all over the wrestling world. They've seen a lot. They've experienced a lot. And they're bringing that into this match here tonight. You know, anytime you debut in SHW, you always want to make a strong showing. But if you have a name like Colby Carino, a name that is world known all throughout the world, right. the challenge becomes you can't afford to lose on this platform. But the same can be said for Zicky Dice, yeah. who's not just been a champion in the NWA, but he's been a champion here yes. in Southern Honor. He would love to be a champion again. So this is going to be a match that we definitely want to pay a lot of attention to. And those two could literally pull anything out of their hat or almost anywhere else. So look for it tonight. It should be a fantastic matchup. You know, Zicky's got all the tricks. He certainly I does. I mean, he was shooting streamers. He had playing cards. Where are they As you mentioned, from? he was breathing fire on his way to the ring. Crazy. There's only so much you can stuff down your shorts. <laughs> well, right? yeah. I mean, 
Well, we won't even get into all that. But just going to plow through. Just, we'll just <laughs> keep going forward here. Uh, I know I we already. I know we. Are, I, know, I know we already touched on it uh, at the beginning of this show. But of course, Carly Bravo, our yes. Rumble Jack winner, 2024 Rumble Jack winner, gets to choose any title mm -hmm. of his choosing here in SHW tonight. He will make that announcement, mm -hmm. and uh, I cannot wait. Uh, Diana thinks she knows what it might be. Mm -hmm. uh, I know what I want it to be. Know what you want it to be? Okay. And I, I where where do you think his head's at, GB? I mean, he was on our podcast when he, he kind of discovered that this was yeah, the, the stipulation. Know. He was like, wait, yeah. I get to do what? Yeah. So. And, and the options are wide open. Yeah. There's a case to be made for him going after all three of those championships. Yeah. From the tag team championships with him as part of the infantry, they never got a shot at the SHW tag team titles. So there's that. And you think about, you know, I believe it was still here three that they had the very first pre-show match in SHW history. So it would make sense that it would come around to that. But then there's the Jake the Snake Legacy Championship. The match, uh, he was actually, J excuse me, Carly Bravo was in that tournament. That's right. And did not get a chance to have the first match because he got pulled out. Yeah, he was about to be. He was about this, to yeah, be. And right. he got signed to All Elite that, that, that night. That still gives me chills. So he never got to yeah. participate in the tournament for that championship. And then there is the SHW Championship. He's defeated seven former SHW champions. And many argue he should have had a shot yeah. at the championship. Absolutely. However, once again, getting signed is taking that away from him. He's an even bigger star now than he was then. So he's got a case for any of those championships. Which will he choose tonight? We're just moments away from finding out. It, it, Bravo. I'm so excited. He has yeah. been, I mean, he is like the definition of started from the bottom, now we're here. Facts. I mean, he was called the replacement so many months because, you know, they would call him when somebody couldn't show up. Right. And he would just come and fill in, but he would shine. Yes. That's he the thing. Would he would be shine. here. He would be in the back and he would just be here for the shows, yeah. not on the card. And then yeah. when somebody, you're right, when somebody couldn't show up, up, when it's time to he step up, up, he stepped up. He did. And always now stepped he's up. signed. Unreal. And, and it's been an absolute, absolute privilege for all of us to be able to see him since literally his very first match. Yeah. And so to see where he's gotten to, and it just, it's such a special feeling to see him come back. Absolutely. And be a surprise entry in the Rumble Jack and actually Absolutely. win the Rumble Jack. Yes. And now have this opportunity Absolutely. at any title of his choosing. Well, it's we're going to find crazy. out here tonight so many things leading in to Still Here 6 mm -hmm. next month. Again, as we mentioned, it's our final stop right here at SHW 65. Uh, we are just just over a half hour away uh, before bell time. Doors are open. Crowds filing in here. It's filling in nice here in the action building. Yeah. Tickets available at the door. As we mentioned, kids 10 and under are free. We got DJ uh, Tonic up there just on the ones and twos, and it's been loud in here already. It has been. And so if we're screaming at you, our apologies, but it's because we're just the base is the bases thumping tonight. in here. Coming and uh, we're pumped, Bubbling guys. Over. We're pumped. Any any final words though for the fans before we get to the show here? If you ain't here, where you at? <laughs> yeah, where you at? Where you at? That's no, the I hope you're outside the door, making your way inside because it's going to be a hot night. Y'all need yeah. to come on. It's going to be a great, great night. A lot of amazing things happen on a show like this. Here's a fun fact for you. You guys ready for this? Yep. It was five years ago at the September show that I first walked through the doors of Southern Honor. Changed Came in as a fan and everything changed. You never know what will happen when you come through the doors on a night like tonight. So, you got to make your way here because anything likely can and will happen. Lots of questions to be answered. Lots of holes to be filled. We'll know a whole lot more about Still Here 6 by the end of tonight. And you want to be here to watch it unfold. We cannot wait. So get on out here. Like I said, we're about a half hour away from the show starting. So come join us. It's SHW 65. We hope to see you here. But if not, you know, catch it on IWTV in the coming weeks. But hopefully you'll come here same. and join us live. We love it. We love being on IWTV, but it is not the same. The energy in this building is unmatched. Yeah, absolutely. You need to be here. Live and in person. But, hey, until we see you guys in a few minutes, this has been... SHW. And this is our wrestling. Show Boom. Attention wrestling fans. Join us this Friday, September 6th for SHW 65. Live from the Action Building in Canton, Georgia. The winner of the 2024 Rumble Jack, Carly Bravo, will address the fans and choose which championship he'll challenge for in October at Still Here 6. 
Many of your favorite SHW stars will be in action, including Kyle Matthews, Alexander Lev, Sal Renaro, Rob Killjoy, Zicky Dice, and members of the hierarchy Murder One and the Kenway, as well as several singles debuts from stars such as Big Trouble Ben Bishop, Jackson Drake, and the NWA's Colby Carino. Plus, our general manager will face off with Zach Mosley of Exotic Youth, and we'll also hear from the Southern Honor champion Judas and the Endgame, and so much more. Don't miss our final stop on the road to Still Here Six. Tickets start at just fifteen dollars and go on sale at the door the night of the show beginning at 5 p.m. Doors open at 7, bell time at 8. As always, kids 10 and under are free. Come see why we are SHW and-